Now that I have reread my paragraphs, there are a couple of things that I realized that were incorrect in the paragraphs. The first thing is this second sentence here, third sentence, just kidding, I can count. Uh, third sentence here that says, what the pirates realize is that I'm a top secret ninja warrior. And that just doesn't sound right. And Microsoft Word did pick this up. We just went to the next sentence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix it. I meant to say what the pirates didn't realize. So I can just type it. And I want you to watch something. I'm not going to put the apostrophe. And when I put the didn't like this, when I press spacebar, Microsoft Word automatically fixes it. So there are sometimes when you're typing, and this is where I said you have to reread it because Microsoft Word, just like autocorrect and text messages, will sometimes correct your word to something that you didn't want. And if you're typing and you're not paying attention and you don't go back and reread it, when the person that gets it reads it, they're going to be like, what? So um, what the pirates didn't realize is that I, see how that green squiggle now it doesn't make sense to Microsoft Word, I am a top secret ninja warrior. And speaking of eyes, please capitalize your eyes. I don't know why, but a lot of students, when they turn in their work, a, either don't capitalize their name correctly, or they don't capitalize the pronoun I. You're important. Capitalize your name and capitalize your pronoun, please. Just the I pronoun, not she and he, because if it's in the middle of a sentence, that doesn't need to be capitalized. But anyways, now that I have totally got off topic, um, so there's that. And then I also noticed, where is it? Where is it? Um, I also noticed that there is a mad in there when it's supposed to be made. So to find it, I'm going to go to edit and find. And I'm going to type in mad because that's where it is. There it is. So um, it finds it within your stuff. And here is a cooler thing. I'm going to go to edit, find and replace. And I'm going to type in mad. I want it to say made. So I'm going to go replace. Oops. And of course, I goofed it up. So it replaced it for me. And I hit edit undo. Just so you know, the shortcut was um, control or command Z when it made those two extra E's. So there was that. I also noticed that I said skills. Look, see, I used my ninja skills, impressed with my skills. I've used skills way too much in this paragraph. I don't like using a lot of the same nouns and, um, you know, adjectives kind of a lot so I'm going to go here I'm gonna highlight skills this is still highlighted so I'm gonna X out of this up here so it goes away and then I'm gonna to go to tools and the Thoris there are a lot of little symbols here that's a shortcut if you can figure out what that shortcut is on the um, PC by all means go for it I'm pretty sure if I had to guess if I had to guess, well, let's try. Ooh, ooh, let's try. Okay. If I had to guess, it would be shift, alt, control, the letter R. <laughs> I'm wrong. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I'll put the guessing. So, oh, it picked up my skills, and I just want skills. So I'm going to delete the my. Um, ooh, I like the word abilities. So let's look at the synonyms. Um, Let's see, with my, I like the abilities. So I'm gonna choose abilities. You can also look up, see the synonyms here. Impressed with my talents, impressed with my dexterities. I mean, really, let's pick words that we would actually use in real life. And although dexterities sound super impressive, it's not something I'd probably ever say. Um, impressed with my proficiencies, eh. Impressed with my knacks, aptitudes, competencies flares. You also have to find something that kind of makes sense. So I'm just going to use abilities. I'm going to click on abilities, click on insert. It deleted the word my. So I got to make sure I type that back in. And the last thing is this here, the SS River Rose. That is a boat name. And I'm pretty sure from my grammar lessons back when I was in high school, you got to do something with this, whether it's italicize, underline, bold it, but I honestly do not remember. So I'm going to go over to Google, which 
um, again, I'm pressing Command and Tab because I'm on a Mac, but you can press Control and Tab and it should take you over to Internet Explorer if you have it open already. If you don't, go ahead and open it up. You can go to Google, you can go to Bing, you can go whatever search engine that you would like to go to. I don't know what the heck is going on here. I'll have to click on that later. Um, and I'm going to type in uh, correct grammar for boat name. There you go proper grammar <laughs> this is why I'm not an English teacher I'm so sorry proper grammar for boat names and we can kind of look and see as you can see you've already looked it up because I don't know um you got a bunch of answers here you can go through a couple of them this one kind of looks like it's legit uh let's see let's see so I'm going to scroll through this and find the th but here we go. Boat and ship names should be italicized. Should use italics, for example, to differentiate from a definition. So we know it needs to be italicized. Let's see if it, we get that a couple times. Ay -ay -ay. So I, what I would do, if you don't know the answer to something, you can always Google it. It may take you a couple minutes to figure it out, but it's better than constantly having to ask somebody. Uh, the name of aircraft, ships, and trains are treated like titles. They're italicized. Okay, so we're going to italicize this. So we're going to highlight this to italicize it. It's right in between that B and the U, so you can click on this I here. You can also do the format and font and then you know click it here um, so we're going to italicize it and make sure that it's italicized that's my name here that's why i capitalized it here my pirate name and the last thing we're going to do is make sure that it all fits onto one page and we're going to fix this table and then you're going to turn it in